Creed is directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa and the son of Apollo Creed who's since deceased. His name is Donnie and he's had a hard life. He's been through juvie quite often. He's a constant fight starter and he decides that he'd like to follow in his father's footsteps and pursue the career of boxing. That's why he tracks down Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa, to help train him to make him be as best as he can be. That's the plot in a nutshell, but what the movie really is about is someone who doesn't have a father who really needs a positive male figure in his life who finds one and this guy really needs someone in his life at this point too and similar to the best Rocky movies it's not just about boxing it's really about these two men one who doesn't have a father who doesn't really have anything in life. And Rocky, who's in his older years now, who doesn't have his wife anymore, who a lot of his friends have since passed on, who also doesn't feel like he has anything in life. And it's their team up together that gives this film its emotional punch. Now before I tell you my thoughts on this movie, let me tell you a little story. The first time I saw Rocky, I was very young. I didn't get it. I was expecting a boxing movie. I was like, where's the boxing? It was just some drama. Like, where's the boxing? I was young and stupid. I wasn't mature enough to appreciate it. When I was around 17 or 18, I saw Rocky again and I said to myself, that was a great film. All of the subsequent Rocky films afterwards, save for Rocky V, I found enjoyment in. Rocky Balboa was a huge surprise, but for the most part, all of those films I thought were either fun, enjoyable, or okay. They weren't great films, per se, if you follow me. They were fun, enjoyable movies, and they have their place in the Rocky series. Creed is a great film. Words cannot express how incredibly happy I was leaving this theater, having just experienced what, in my opinion, is the best film in the Rocky series since the first one from the 70s, Creed blew me away. Ryan Coogler directed the very good Fruitvale Station, and Michael B. Jordan was also in that movie. That was an extremely emotionally effective movie. I remember leaving that theater shook up, angry, just wanting to do something, and that movie affected me very much. What he brought to Creed was a terrific sense of grit and realism. He captured the streets of Philadelphia so beautifully. There's such a great urban feel in this movie. You can almost smell Philadelphia. It was so well filmed and the entire city feels like a character on its own. It's just such a great looking movie. It was shot by the same DP as The Wrestler. If you like The Wrestler and you like the look of The Wrestler, this film has that same look. Very grimy and just intense and sweaty. You feel the air in Creed. Now I thought Jordan was fantastic in Fruitvale Station, but that was just a tiny hint of what he can do as an actor. Not only did he sell the physicality of this role so well, but the emotional scenes in which his character breaks a little bit and finally reveals some of the things that are going on in his mind. I was tearing up. And I'm not just saying that, like this movie really affected me. Now about that physicality he portrays, he was so great in the boxing scenes. His first real big fight was done all in one take and it's glorious. I was just sitting there like, it's not ending, That it's still going. They're not cutting. This is awesome. Now about Stallone. This is his signature role, okay? You can talk about Rambo, but in reality, he will be Rocky Balboa forever. This is his role. This is his baby. And it's the best performance he's given in years. This guy brought tears to my eyes on a couple occasions in this movie. And what I liked about Creed is that although it has certain emotionally manipulative elements that you expect in a movie like this, those tug at the heartstring moments, they're not done in a way that is too sentimental. It's not very melodramatic. What Coogler accomplished with his movie was to create something that felt very real and very fresh using elements that are a bit shop-worn that we've seen before in movies. You expect certain things to happen in movies like this. Save for movies like Field of Dreams, the majority of sports-related movies all end in a big sporting event. The problem with that is that for some of those films that aren't as good as others, once the suspense is gone and you know who wins or what team prevails or who loses, going back to watch the film a second time, it's just not as entertaining because that suspense isn't there. What I take away from Creed is that watching it a second time even though I know the outcome, I am going to love this film possibly even more because the characters are so well realized 
that you watch Creed not just for the boxing. I will go back and watch this movie again because I'm excited to see these characters again. That's how well written and directed this movie was. I actually want to go back and experience it, not just for the boxing, which is excellent, but just for the characters and the little tiny moments. Also, for the magnificent score. Now, if you're gonna compose a score for a movie that's in a series that features one of the most iconic scores of all time, composed by Bill Conti, you've really gotta be impressive. And what I liked about this movie is it went for it. The score is loud and big and exciting and enthralling. It's classical, it's huge. You really get into it and the big moments in the battle are so well composed in his score. I can't wait to get it on the soundtrack. I know that some fans of the Rocky films have really been hating on this movie. I've read a few posts on IMDb about people boycotting it just because Polly's not in it. You know what? Those are the same people that in 2006 tried to boycott Rocky Balboa because Adrian wasn't in it. And then they saw Rocky Balboa and were like, Damn. I have but one flaw with this movie, and it's a spoiler so I won't get into it. Something occurs in the film towards the third act that felt a little bit forced. It was definitely another thing the filmmakers wanted to add on top of all of the drama to get it in there and make it really feel like, oh man, stuff is on the line here. And I don't know if it was necessary, but it's not really that big of a flaw. It's just me looking for something to nitpick. I loved Creed. I think it's a fantastic film in the Rocky series. I do think it's the best film since the first, and I'm gonna give Creed an A. Guys, this movie really impacted me. I was so happy leaving the theater. The performances are excellent. Everything about Creed really worked for me. Guys, I hope you check out Creed. It's coming out soon. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck -manized.